What is going on guys? Welcome to this new Star Trek Fleet Command video. Hope you're having a great day here in Star Trek Fleet Command. And yeah, I mean, without further ado, I mean, let's get started. Um, you know, it is the year 2020. It is January. It is Friday. Hope you're having a great one. And for those who are out there, hope you're having a great time playing Star Trek Fleet Command. So, you know, without further ado, I mean, let's get started on this. And, you know, we're going to start off this new segment with, of course... Okay, so Star Trek news. So we have... The big answer is, will Captain... Be will Picard bring back Worf and other five big questions before season one? Okay, so guys, Picard is happening January 23rd. It's happening all over the world. Um, CBS All Access, if you're in the US. Um, Bell Media, if you're in... Um, Crave, if you're in Canada. And of course, um, other countries, you know, I think it's, is it Netflix um, in the UK? I'm not too sure about that. But a lot of stuff is happening in Picard. And you know, one of the questions we're asking is, will Worf appear in Star Trek Picard? I am gonna say yes. Although to get the makeup exactly right for Picard is going to be an interesting one. Getting that makeup right, I mean, oh, look at, look at Worf there. Picard, all these other guys. What are the questions we got here? Oh, Seven of Nine. Like, how important will Seven of Nine be in Star Trek of Picard? Based on the promos, I think it's gonna, this is going to be super important here. Super important to the franchise and to the series as we know it. So a lot of interesting stuff there. Okay, so let's move on to our next story here. Um, Star Trek Discovery. Okay, so me and Zula were actually talking about this earlier. Um, there is no mention as of yet when Star Trek Discovery will make it onto the big screen. Um, we're still waiting. We've been told 2020, but you know, I don't think it's going to happen at the same time as Picard, for example. So we're kind of looking right now. So for Discovery, we're kind of looking at a September date, possibly. Um, this is obviously going to disappoint some Discovery fans who have been waiting for it for, you know, for, for at least almost a year now, people have been waiting for Discovery to kind of arrive here. So the fact that it's not uh, entered into the fray yet is definitely disconcerting. Um, and by the way, guys, don't forget, you can join the Discord, you can join the chat. I'm going to join the public voice chat right now. And there we go, we are, we are connected to public one. So you can join my um, Discord chat in the link down below and you can join the chat there and you can chat with us on Star Trek Fleet Command. So yeah, okay, so the next story we have here, five reasons why you want to see Tarantino Star Trek movie. So this has been talked about for a while. There's a Tarantino movie on its way, um, supposedly, supposedly, but we don't know when it's gonna happen yet. We're kind of hoping real soon there, um, Star Trek Picard, and of course the Tarantino movie which is coming on its way. So again, <laughs> one of the top ones here, we don't want it to be another kind of Kill Bill Volume 3 kind of um, Hollywood movie. We don't want all that killing, but you know, that is pretty synonymous with Tarantino movies. There's a lot of killing in it. Um, you know, there's no spoilers there, but there is a lot of killing in these Tarantino movies. So will we see, you know, um, kind of Kirk going at it, chop chop, or maybe Spock kind of killing all these characters. I don't know, I don't know. Um, it's gonna be super interesting to, to find out what happens there. Um, okay, so let's go on to our last story here. Oh, so this hit last night. Um, so I'm not gonna go into too many spoilers, but the Star Trek short, Children of Mars, hit last night. Hit last night. So this was the, uh, okay, so I'm going to give one spoiler here. It is heavily linked to Star Trek Picard. So for those who who love Star Trek Picard and for those who love Discovery and for those who love Children of Mars, um, this is a really a big one for you Star Trek fans out there. So definitely keep watching those Star Trek shorts. I think this was the shortest one. I think this was either eight minutes or seven and a half minutes. So definitely shorter than the shorter than the 15 minute ones that we were actually promised. Um, so definitely like stay on tune for that. But yeah, I mean, you know, Children of Mars, Star Trek Shorts, always a good one. 
to do. All right, guys, so let's get right into the game here. And let's get right into Star Trek Fleet Command as we were promised here. So here we go. Oh boy, here we are in Star Trek Fleet Command. So it's been, it's you know, it's been a year now. So we haven't done this in maybe over a year. So we have been patiently waiting for Star Trek Fleet Command to arrive on our screens. And here it is. So there is a lot of stuff which is happening uh, in the game right now. So, I mean, we have the domination event. So let me see if I can access domination. So here we are, we have the solo leaderboard and of course the domination ALB event. So our alliance right now is rank 15, which is not too bad. I know me and Zula were talking before and he is actually rank number one. So congrats to Zula um, and Noan Shal who are, I don't know, are they in the same alliance? They could possibly be. So congrats to them. But yeah, on server eight, we are rank number 15. So that is not too bad at all. And of course I am rank 28 there. So again, let's have a look at domination for those who are not too familiar with the concept. So it says right here, um, so you can gain power by, you know, one officer intel spent, one ship XP spent, one power increased by research, and one power increased by building. So let's take a look at some of the rewards here. Fantastic rewards. Um, if you manage to be number one, you get 1,700 latinum. These ultra recruit tokens, this is something that, ev that everyone is after. These ultra recruit tokens, um, something which people really, really want. And that is something which I know that people, other people want too. So, I mean, rank two, you've got all these other recruit tokens. Rank three, rank one to 10. And if you get into the 25 mark, you get some decent rewards too. So I'm not quite there yet, but I will be there, um, hopefully in the next um, little while. I'm also doing this Federation Reputation event. So a lot of stuff here, trying to get to 55 million where I can get a lot of Federation credits. Now, as I was talking about earlier, I am not dual faction, um, not dual faction yet, but I kind of hope to be in the future. So definitely like that is definitely, I'm up for that. Um, so yeah, I mean, right now we are mining, got a lot of repair bills to go on to. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, I mean, so we're kind of mining in Federation space right now. And I know since we last talked about the game, there's been a lot of improvements. Um, there's definitely the ISS Jellyfish. So let me zoom all the way past here for you guys. ISS Jellyfish, really, really want this ship. Um, I know I'm not getting it anytime soon, but this is still a great ship. Look at this ship. Um, fantastic little ship here. Um, you know, ISS, kind of the mirror world. So really interested in this ship. And I know that it's gonna come like real soon um, to lots of other players. So kind of stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, so that is the ISS Jellyfish. And so, yeah, I mean, so let's talk about some other things which are happening in the Star Trek universe. Um, something me and Zula were talking about earlier was the Officer Jailer. So if I go into Officers here and I go down here, now we were kind of talking about Jailer. So she is in the Star Trek movies, but she is actually not um, available for the majority of players yet. So if I click on Jailer, we see there's a lot of question marks here, a lot of question marks because you know, while I have a lot of, I have a few jailer tokens, for a lot of players, she's not actually unlockable yet. She's not unlockable. And a lot of players are asking, you know, why is that? Why is she not unlockable? Well, I think she is actually broken. Like, I don't know this for a fact, but I think she's actually broken. So look at this, question mark, um, question mark. So this officer is actually, let's take a look, question mark. Take a look at this. So this this officer is actually made to kind of combat the swarm, to make the swarm easier to deal with. And now I know for a fact that Jailer is available on the Founder server. So if you're on the Founder server, congrats to you. You actually have it. But for the majority of players, 
Jayla is not available, which actually really sucks. Um, so hopefully real soon that Jayla will be available to us. Um, and another big one, let me check the station for a minute and let me just check this out. Um, no, so it's not in our event yet, but I've heard down the grapevine and on the official Discord that, fed, that Faction Lock is actually coming back to the game. So that's going to be fantastic. Faction Lock is actually coming back to the game for all you guys. So that's going to be really good. Really looking forward to that, to that Faction Lock. Um, so what, what does this essentially mean? So if I go here, if I go to uh, Factions, so right now I'm associate um, with the Federation. So I have about 6 million points to get to Respected. And at Respected, I'll be able to unlock the Enterprise. So really looking forward to that. Um, really looking forward to unlocking the Enterprise at some point, but not quite there yet. Um, obviously, as you go on and on, USS Hydra. I know Deuce has been talking about the USS Hydra. And of course, um, the Kelvin could be super interesting ship. And of course, the Newton. So watch this space because there's gonna be a lot more ships which will be entering the fray um, you know, at this deal. But the fact that they're unlocking um, faction lock means you'll, you'll be able to kind of, uh, you know, stay at one stage at faction level, and then you'll be able to work on, you know, Klingon, uh, Romulan, and what other factions they bring out in the near future. Um, I know they're working on other factions, you know, that that's a clear fact, but what factions that are gonna be entering the sway I just don't know yet. I just don't know yet. So kind of stay tuned for that and everything that is happening in that area. Um, all right, guys, that is it for now. So don't forget to like and subscribe to Fortis Gaming for all the latest in Star Trek Fleet Command. And hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great Friday. All right, see you later, guys. Hope you have a good one.